Hello everyone. So today a guest joined with us, Kavya. She had uh, she is doing her masters in computer science and uh, today she is going to answer our most of the questions like uh, is it good to do masters in computer science? Can I come from one course or like many people ask me like if I'm studying mechanical, can I come from that field to computer science or electrical to computer science or much similar questions on that part and apart from that what will be the expected salary range or uh, how much is your pay going to be if you are in california or in some other districts those stuff and also we'll be discussing on uh, in general will you be getting internship and what will be the right time to apply for internship these will be the main question which we'll be going through and along with that we will also see if i'm coming from other department to here will i be able to handle the course load and uh, if and also one more question is many people ask me i had already had worked in india for 2 3 years so is it good to go now will it be uh, long or will the universities give admit to me uh, if i am coming after some 2 3 years so these will be the questions which we'll be mainly discussing about uh, let's speak with kavya about those hi kavya thanks for joining with us uh, let me start from the first question so is it tough to complete a masters in computer science and uh, what is your experience on that yeah so if you're going to compare it with our undergrad definitely it's going to be tougher than that and uh, but then it's doable there are a lot of people that do and almost everyone we know graduates so no need to be uh, worried about that the only thing is that uh, we should know that there's going to be a lot of efforts and we can't do things the last minute So okay. if if you are fine with that then yeah it's very much doable so how is the assignments ka in general uh, with my experience or with the people whom ever i am seeing they will be like assignments are too heavy so yeah. when i am having my assignments you can't do your part time or something many people will come i need to do a part time also so what is your say on that so is it tough when they are doing part time and your computer science uh, course or are they can manage it so i think uh, we can definitely manage i mean i've seen you manage with 20 hours of part time so that's definitely an inspiration but uh so how it works is this so when i first came um i didn't realize i thought it was much like india and i used to push things to the last minute and uh, then when you push it to the last minute it becomes very difficult because there's a lot to do and most of the assignments should be Uh, you know unique and you're going to do it by yourself there's going to be no plagiarism and all of that so there's a lot of things like you should be very careful on so it's definitely intensive so but w- what i realized uh, from my second semester is that if you plan ahead and if you start your assignments ahead it's very much doable and they also give you only the things that you can complete i mean there are like 600 700 other others starting with you and they do it so it's not like we can't but uh, the learning i would say is uh, to not compare this to undergrad in india because uh, then we push it to the last minute but when we start ahead of time i think we finish ahead of time and uh, people are there to help out so for every course you take there'll be office hours if you're stuck okay. in an assignment or something you can ask with the tas or you can even reach out to professor but all of this you can do only if you start ahead so i would say that but um, most of the people i know here come on loan and uh, they take care of their living expense by part time so i would say like if everyone can do it so can you yeah okay got it mm-hmm. and uh, uh, along with this question kavya so you mentioned about plagiarism so is mm-hmm. it uh, they they will be very much looking into that or is it like uh, like india where they won't care much into the assignments and stuff Yeah so this is um, I I remember like back in India there were like assignments there'll be this one person who does it like sincerely yeah. and yeah, everyone exactly. else like copies it um yeah. if you do the same here you will be basically sent home or okay. uh, you'll be marked a fail or uh, you know it's a very very um difficult I mean it they they care a lot about uh, honor codes so uh, we 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 need to abide by that so the universities are very strict on that so okay. uh, i would suggest to do everything uh, by yourself like the mm-hmm. professor will tell you can maybe discuss like hey what could be the possible solutions but if you're coding it up or if you're writing a paper that should be your own work no oh, okay nice kavya and uh, 
so coming back from after coming to india so basically after coming from india we are going to study a bunch of courses in okay. meantime our main goal will be like getting an internship and right. uh, getting the job at the end so what is your say on like uh, what will be the good time if a student is coming in august so what mm-hmm. will be the good time to start applying for internship or searching for job like uh, let's start with internship then mm-hmm. we'll be moving into full time thing yeah right uh, so um i would suggest this so uh, i had a really good mentor uh, who helped me out i mean his name was sajid so he uh, told us to apply from august and uh, we thought they were like kidding and they were like you know just saying that to scare us but honestly uh, i interned at salesforce and most of my uh, colleagues there who got internship they had applied in august and they had an offer in their hand by october november so uh, i made a mistake of applying late um if i were to do something differently or if i were to suggest you guys i would say the minute you land start applying and for that um you know like resume took a lot of time for me so i had to you know redo it a lot and ask for so many people's opinion if you have time before coming here i would suggest start off with your resume resume back in india and once your resume is done august is the right time to apply at least these are for the tech jobs so basically what happens is uh, most of the internships they start um, interview process much sooner so if you apply in august september october there would be interviews and uh, for the women out there i would say like go for grace hopper conference many people got uh, internship through that i got to know only after i went to uh, you know went to internship but uh, again the thing with grace hopper conference is you're supposed to book it like 2 3 months ahead so i think okay. back in india you should have booked it so that's one thing you can get jobs through that many had like multiple offers through that so i would say start off as soon as you come here i know it will be overwhelming to do a lot of things but try to finish your resume as soon as possible there'll be a lot of lists like github lists on what jobs to apply for so start applying immediately uh, don't compare yourself with your surroundings uh, the people whom you are with may not be applying but there are better universities like uh, when i interned there were like um, people from amazing universities and they were like hey it was normal for all of us to apply in august maybe in your university they are in but doesn't mean that other folks are in so apply in august try to get a job by november december so that is the first round i would say and okay now coming into the main part so i just want to know uh, what are the fields in software which students should concentrate so a a basic guy who is coming from india to here he will be having the thought that which i need to focus or which course i need to study that that thing he will be having a doubt so what do you say on that like what are the fields are there and i hear if a student who is studying are interested in cyber security and coming here and studying at the end it is mostly related to government or something united states so they won't get a job in cyber security is it true or is it a myth and what are the other fields which they can focus if not one field so in okay. that point of view uh i got you so um here's the thing um that's so on the fields and how to choose a field it's totally up to you uh because at the end of the day it's you who's going to s- score and search the subjects but about the job opportunities yeah that makes sense that's definitely part of how we choose um so here it is so i took a generic computer science course like you know like you could just choose the subjects there'll be a four uh four courses that would be core and the remaining we choose so that's more like a generic masters in computer science okay. uh, but there are folks who have taken different like i see people uh, who want to be in analytics because it has growth or something and then they apply for data analyst roles or there's you know like cyber security uh, like buen mentioned like um for cyber security like most of the roles i think would require us citizenship or something like that but i'm not sure about all the roles okay. i still uh, saw during my internship someone was working on cyber security so um i'm not sure but that's the research that you'll have to do and uh, next one there's human computer interaction there's a lot of people getting into that and then in front end and all of that and uh, there's also this ai and ml like there are many roles currently for ml engineer and related to that stream so if you're sure on what stream you want like if that's your interest and that's something that calls you go for that if you're still confused like how i was 
a safer bet would be to go for a generic master in computer science and once we come here we can definitely choose to specialize in ml or whatever the course offers so that's how you choose and regarding job there's definitely a generic pool of software developers who work on products and building products and all of that but if you want to be in niche parts like if you want to be only in ml and all of that again you can do a simple linkedin search and see how many people work on that like just to get statistics on a uh, software in a uh, developer role that is sde versus you know what is uh, ml engineer role or something like that but if you're open to anything i mean go for ms and cs right um so my personal journey is that i worked uh, back in india for 4 years and then i decided to do masters and uh, i feel um to me i feel 2 years is a good uh place like i if, i i thought like after 2 years it made sense like why masters and you know i knew what i was looking for but it's not the same for everyone um in generic i would say after 2 years after working at my company i realized oh my god these were all the courses and i didn't know i would be using it so and so um why did i not study or things like that so for me like a personal realization was hey if i could go back to university i would have done this better or so and so but then yeah. there's an opportunity to, to go back to university and then you know uh, make your skills better and work on those areas that you think like would make you a better professional so that exposure uh, back in india like adobe gave me like and i saw so many people around me doing good at what they do and that kind of inspired me to come for masters and uh, so far I, it has definitely helped because uh, in my internship here i can see the difference of preparedness and how uh, i'm able to handle things with my experience back in india on how to um, you know ask for tasks or how to be with um colleagues and you know how to learn and how to progress and so many things that you learn over a job that helped me but i would not say that's necessary you can do masters at any time like i've seen people like older than me doing i've seen people who came right after um you yeah, know undergrad. undergrad doing and at the end of the day everyone does it there's so many people who has done it when they can do it so can you and everyone has gotten a job like my senior just says this everyone i've seen in masters in computer science got a job so you know like so will you so at the end of the day go- job is the goal everyone gets it but it's more like a personal thing some people wanted to save up and apply and all of that so they took little time some people already had the resources um you know to apply right. yeah. because it's an expensive exactly. process Yeah, so it's an expensive process true yeah <laughs> it's an expensive process and you know if money is not an issue you can just go any time or if it is like if you want to save a bit and do in your own money and not ask your parents or things like that you know <laughs> then wait a little longer that's all yeah nice so yeah take avya so the final question is about uh, salary so our end goal is like getting a uh, jobs and uh, many people are believing that uh, once you are coming to us your salary will be around a crore or more than 1 crore or something like that uh, when they are converting into indian currency obviously so what is your say on that like let's see let's leave about the california part so even because if you are getting a 200k in california uh, anyway they will be losing their salary of around 35 to 40% mm-hmm. and uh, let's speak about in general uh, because in california it will be around 180 200 and somewhere it will be around uh, just 80 90 so what will be the mid range which you heard about or which you know from your senior or from the current person who is graduating so what's your say on that so i would say um there's a lot i hear i mean the biggest i've heard is 250k back in california but that's mm-hmm. for sd2 role like people with experience applied for sd2 in amazon or so and so but uh, overall i'm hearing a lot of 120k and 150k so also um the one thing i would say is uh, you know if you are curious about salary and all of that go to levels.fyi uh, you'll get salaries for internships and about um, full time and all of that uh, okay. the f- other factors that you need to consider is uh, that's not just like the entire number you should also see the living cost it's quite high in california it could be little lower in other places and um, another thing is tax again in some states there's lot of tax so when you consider all of this i would say like 
uh, 80s where it would start 80 90 i think 90s where it would start and lot of it averages out at 120 150 something like that but okay. uh, if you see in a state like if you're getting in florida and if it is like 120 that's like a very 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 good package very because good, yeah. tax is quite good. less and the cost of living is quite less so it depends from place to place but uh, again i would say what my senior told me don't worry about uh, you know like i mean give your best in jobs and all of that but don't be scared that you wouldn't get because at the end of the day everyone gets a job and uh, we can like pay back our loan or so people say so let's just like keep working towards you know building better skills and a lot of dedication in applying for jobs and the process um then everything will definitely come out well yeah okay kavya these were the common questions which i have and which i uh, saw in the comment section which lot of people were asking also and uh, apart from that uh if you want to share something out of your experience you can say like which student should take care when they are coming here or which you felt if i had done that in india it would have been easier for me if you had have anything to say about you can say and then uh, that's all my <laughs> interviews all about so yeah okay so um couple of things i think someone some folks were asking that they were not from computer science background but then they want to do masters in computer science and all of that Yeah. So about that, uh, you know, my teammate, one of my teammates, he's from uh, electronics background, but he's doing masters in computer science. But I can hardly see a difference because, you know, he still gives his best and all of that. What I would say is uh, for the ones who are not from CS background but are coming to CS, like try to have, uh, you know, uh, one language. Like try to start uh, looking into one language. Maybe Python is easier or something. try learning one language you know try that before you come here and as soon as you come here try to become good in one language and uh, then everything else is hard for everyone anyway so yeah. uh, you know it might take you a little extra step to be there but you can definitely do i see a lot of people doing that um that's one and then i would say you know come with a mindset of uh, I mean it's going to be uncomfortable um, it's definitely not as easy as back in India because you're in a new environment but the mindset is um, we shouldn't forget our goal and uh, the more we remind ourselves why we are here the easier it gets um mm-hmm. so I, that's all I think I would say so yeah good luck yeah thank you thank you kavya thank you so much thank you for your time thank you all thank you, thank you kavya bye